Hello and welcome to this uh, PHP tutorial. Uh, in this lesson we're going to be uh, talking about the if-else uh, statements and also the if-else-if-else uh, if statement. It'll all be clear um, through the lesson so let's get started shall we? So first of all what I want to do is just explain um, what a if-else statement is. Well um, what it does is it reads um, the expression that's here and this equates uh, to true then it executes this code um, basically here and then it moves on so it doesn't come to the else at all now if this expression here which we'll talk about a little bit uh, later equates to false then it moves straight away onto this and it ex it, the code to execute in all other cases is here basically so um, if for example if we just move on to it we'll make a um, a variable equal to mood and uh, we say happy okay and then we place the expression in here and we say we're going to test uh, what the mood is how the mood is and with our comparison operator of equal to okay we're going to basically say happy so if mood is equal to happy then then execute uh, this code here. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to say echo I am very and put mood in here. And, and if the mood is not equal to happy, then this will be false and it will move on to the else statement. So, with inside the else statement, what we're going to do is I, I am not very. And put mood in here. Whoops, if we spell it right. Okay, so if we just control S to save this, so basically to go through it one more time, the mood equals happy up here at the moment, and we're testing if the mood is equal to happy, then we're going to echo I am very mood happy, else I am not very. Okay, so let's come over to uh, Firefox, let's just refresh this. Uh, did I save this? Oh yeah. Okay, it's because I got this down here, which is okay. Let's just. This is just for uh, later. So let's come back to here now and refresh. And you see, I am very happy. That's because the mood is equal to happy. Well. If we replace this now with happy because it was wrong first of all and we replace it to sad then mood is not equal to happy now so it will execute this code down here so control us to save and refresh this and it says I am not very happy okay so that's the in basics the if else statement now we can just basically test the if now if mood is equal to happy then echo this else it won't do anything at all um, which can help in some cases and can and is not very helpful in other cases so if we just control this to save and to show this it won't do anything at all so um, yeah if you if you don't need to work out if you just want to know whether it's false then it doesn't need to do anything if you want to have an answer um, or to do something if it is false then you would give it an else okay Okay, so just to um, basically sell you something more, let's undo this here. Now it only um, outputs one set of uh, code, so it will never uh, output um, both of these things. Okay, so if it reads this, then it will forget this totally and just echo out the else. Now what we can also do, if we move down here slightly and uncomment this, is we now have the if, else if, and else statement. Now what this does, if expression um, is equal to true here, then it will execute this code here because it evaluates the true. Now if this um, results in false, then it will forget this piece of code here and it will move on to the next one. Okay? And else if this bit of code, this another expression equates to true, then it will execute this code here. Okay? Now if this um, equates to false here then it will go to here at no point 
um, will it ever execute more than one piece of code so it can't execute this and this together it will only execute one piece of code and it does not loop so once it reads down it will never go back up again okay not like a while loop or a for loop or for each and so on it will only read the code um, once which there's a good and bad um, byte so what we should do in here is we'll just come back up to our example here and then add um, a closing um, curly braces and put else if and then two um, brackets and then an the opening curly braces so else if mood is equal to sad then it's going to um, execute let's take this bit of code here so you can read it properly okay so it's the code to execute if the previous expression evaluates to false and this expression evaluates to true so echo I am very sad okay well we can actually put mood in here if I can spell the thing right all the time okay so that's what it's going to do here now if it's not equal to sad then it will move to here so at the moment the mood is mood equals sad so it's not going to execute this because it's false it's going to read this and it's going to say well yes this expression here is true so I execute this piece of code and it will not even move to here okay so let's control let's um, comment this out again because we don't need it and let's control this to save which we have and we'll refresh I am very sad so basically it's it's only gone to here now if I change this to normal then it will not execute this piece of code because mood is not equal to normal it will come down to here mood is not equal to normal here so this is false so it's got no other choice but to do the last piece of code and it will always do the last piece of code if all the previous um, examples or the um, expressions are false okay so let's just save this and uh, now um, put this here I am not very happy which was the last last piece of code now you can put as many else if statements in here as you want but you have to um, have an else statement at the end otherwise you will um, make an error so what we do if we just copy um, this here this else if statement and we put in here uh, I am very ill yeah and so we've got happy ill sad and uh, or if we put yeah so basically what we want to do is say normal still if mood is equal to happy well that's false if mood equals to ill that's false it, else if mood is equal to sad that's false else so you could put all the different feelings in here as you want and then know well any other feeling or any other mood swing that there is um, then we don't know about it so it will echo out uh, I am not very happy a default uh, example uh, that's basically it for an if else statement it you just have to remember from an if else statement that it will always uh, only execute one piece of code it will never execute multiple pieces of code or it will never output um, more than one piece of code so from this one two three four um, bits of code it will only decide one of them and if none of them are true then it will execute the else statement okay that's pretty much it for this tutorial I hope you've learned um, something from it um, you will use uh, if uh, else statements all the time um, throughout uh, throughout programming um, and obviously you need to learn the comparison operators which are the the equals um, or the more than um, more than or equal to as well. I'm going to do another tutorial um, on the comparison operators so you know them fully. Okay, well um, that's that's it for this tutorial. My name is David Thorne. Um, you can visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de. Feel free to ask me any questions and uh, I will answer them um, pretty much straight away. Um, or subscribe to me. I would love you to subscribe to me and then I know that uh, I can keep on doing these tutorials for people. Um, yeah, if you've got any ideas of other tutorials you want me to do, drop me a line, subscribe to me, and I will try my best to get them done as quick as possible. Thanks very much for watching. My name's David Thorne, and goodbye.